Beautiful day, beautiful people. Sean Long here, and this is a long time coming. A Sean Long time coming. <laughs> uh, but yes, you guys, with the quarantine, everything going on, um, I had to look at some positive at it. And one positive from the quarantine is that I actually had time since my move, which I moved here into September, to organize my collection. Wow, I never thought, wow, <laughs> I, I'm i just like looking at this and it's just like, wow, it's actually all on display. Um, now before I start, I want to say this video is brought to you by Big Bad Toy Store. Click the link for so much more. Click the link in the description because most of these uh, figures, not most of them, well, a lot of them, um, I got three Big Bad Toy Store over the years, and Big Bad Toy Store's been my longest running sponsor, so thank you to them, and really appreciate it. If you guys get anything through Big Bad Toy Store, click the link, it really helps out the channel, and gets me more store credit for the more stuff in the future to keep the channel alive. Now, a little history uh, before I get more detail about the, uh, the collection, is that... Um, yeah, so I moved here in September of 2019. Uh, when I moved into my old house before this place, um, I only had really the Hot Toys on display, like all these that you're seeing here. Um, but I never really got around to all this stuff right here. In fact, a lot of the stuff you see here, like my Transformers, my DC, uh, a lot of Marvel figures, um, He-Man, uh, yeah, just all the stuff you see. Most of this stuff was in boxes for the last couple years. So it was really liberating stuff I knew I wanted to keep and stuff I knew I wanted to display that is finally out on display. It's free. It's free. Now, one thing also, as you guys know, um, this at one point when things were great in YouTube and... I lived in a house, I had like a four bedroom house and literally two of those rooms were dedicated to my collection. One had most of my hot toys and it was where I did my videos, like my video reviews. And then one room was like all the rest of this. So imagine everything like Transformers and Marvel Legends and uh, DC and all the uh, He-Man and uh, Thundercats, imagine all of this like doubled. Like at one point, like I had everything that I collected had its own shelf at one point. So I really have sold so much stuff over the years. Um, I actually, everything that's not in this room, it's in my bedroom um, in bags and boxes. I'm gonna make a sales video coming up soon um, here uh, because I haven't got my stimulus check, but I was really lucky my landlord um, said I don't have to pay rent for me since I paid in April and then I only have to pay for half the rent in June. So, and because everything like Comic-Con, San Diego Comic-Con is canceled, WonderCon is canceled, pretty much I believe, unless we're lucky, all cons will be canceled for this year, um, at least in California. And um, pretty much everything I was planning to do, spend money on, I'm not, I mean, and everything, if you guys know this, like a lot of things we collect, like hot toys, like I, I have, I had money set aside for Hot Toy Thanos from Avengers Endgame, and that's come out in China like months ago, and it hasn't come out yet here because of everything that's been going on. So, yeah, and I have money. I've sold stuff to have money set aside for that because I sold my Hot Toys Thanos from Guardians of the Galaxy and everything. So, yeah, it's. It's been crazy, and yeah, <laughs> Chewy and Chitar are like here with me, so if you hear and see things, yeah, you'll see that. Um, so yeah, ima imagine my collection, like all this stuff right here, like the stuff from Hasbro, Mattel, uh, NECA, SH Figure Arts, just imagine double that at one point. My Hot Toys was m more than doubled at this point, like I have seven Detoms. I, I have, is, the, over there is a mixture of stuff I'm selling and s just boxes I need to put away. Like, the, that closet is full of boxes, like from SH Figure Arts and Figma and what I'm keeping. 
but yeah, like I got rid of all my Hot Toys vehicles, like my DeLorean, sadly, uh, my, um, the Bat, um, all my quarter scale figures, uh, yeah, pretty much, like, I, I kept, like, my, at one point, all my Hot Toys Marvel Legend figures, like, I mean Marvel Legend, my Hot Toys Marvel figures, I had every figure from every Marvel movie that came out at one point, but I, I kept it to, except for Iron Man, who's my favorite, um, I pretty much just kept my favorite version of the, of, of, uh, each Avenger, minus, like, Iron Man and Spider-Man, you know, characters that I want to have more than one variant, they have, like, legitimate variants that I care about, no, not like with Captain America, which I do have the first Avenger cap, just because I love that movie, and, yeah, and we'll get to that here in a bit, but, yeah, so, I pretty much sold off so many Captain Americas, Black Widows, and Thors, and, you know, a lot of uh, characters, even some Iron Man figures, not, like, you know, just ones from, like, that were the same as, like, um, like Gamma and all that stuff, so, and because I could, I wanted to do even one more level of Iron Man figures and, you know, for the Hall of Armor, but, you know, I don't have the tallest, uh, ceiling, so I can't really do that. So, yeah, and one thing you can notice in this collection, I have some Marvel Legends, like Captain Marvel and Wasp, Nebula, and, uh, Okoye. I hope they do a Hot Toys Okoye, she deserves one, but those are placeholders. Oh, yeah, and, like, uh, you can see, um, uh, Rescue and Valkyrie. So hopefully they'll get their own Hot Toys figures and I will get the Hot Toys, um, Avengers Endgame, Iron Patriot, then I'll put War Machine with the Iron Man shelf and then I'll put Endgame Hulk in there and I'll put Hulk, uh, with the, uh, Hulkbuster and then, uh, replace that Thor. That's the, uh, Avengers Age of Ultron Thor and yeah, I, like, you know, some of these, like, uh, like with Falcon, the Civil War Falcon goes for way much. Oh, they'll probably do a Falcon Win Winter Soldier Falcon, which I'll replace that one because that costume looks really awesome. So, yeah, and like, just, but yeah, we'll get to that here in a bit. But what? Anyway, so, um, and, and then my old house, uh, so I went from a four bedroom house to a three bedroom house. So I had one. My bedroom, which I did my reviews in, I had in my living room, like, all my Hot Toys. And then my other room, which pretty much was all this stuff, still in boxes. And I was using it as a sales room. And I, the other room was where my roommates would, would have. And then when I moved into this place, it's a two-bedroom. So I have my bedroom. And then, you know, I have my... um uh, computer and where I do my reviews I just move my keyboard and that's my little um tripod for the um my my phone filming this on my iPhone and it's just so much easier than holding a DSLR camera especially with how long this video will turn out to be um but yeah like um yeah so when I moved in here I knew that I would have four shelves of you know for my Transformers, He-Man, Marvel Legends, Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, you know, um, Dragon Ball, My Hero Academia, Overwatch, Voltron, and all that stuff. And then I knew this used to be my living room back in my old house, and that's Chewy Barking. Um, and I knew I wanted to put this, this, you guys have seen this in my videos, or like, is, is my backdrop. And then I have seven detox. I got rid of so many. I had like one point like twenty detox or more, I think. Um, and I like sold off so many. I actually have space for another detox, but I really wish um, I I I had like a total of eight. I I th I thought like when I moved in here, I only had room for seven. So I'll probably buy one more from um, IKEA and build it. Then I can like do it for some other things I want to collect from uh, Hot Toys or space it out because you can see, especially with Terminator and Batman, I really, this, with the Dark Knight stuff, it used to be like one detox on its own, but I, I moved it to three spaces and I put some various DCU figures, so, yeah. And by the way, I got my guitars in here, Natasha, Bruce, and Tony over here. So, yeah, let's get to it, you guys. Um, let's show off the collection in more detail. Because I'm like almost 10 minutes in and you guys have seen it. But I just want to explain everything. So let's start from the top. 
Oh boy. So yeah, the top here, uh, we got, this is the Transformer shelf. I got my first masterpiece, Starscream, in his uh, F-15 mode. And I got Unicron. Um, I just knew I couldn't get the uh, new Hasbro uh, Haslabs Unicron. I, I have no idea where I put it. I guess I could have put it on there. But I don't know. I don't know. It just, it would take up so much space. And you can see, maybe if I get one more detail, if I'll have a space, but I don't know. If not, I'm just happy to have that Unicron. Then I have the fans, the Masterpiece Grimlock with the Fans Toys Dinobots. How is it that we haven't got any Masterpiece Dinobots since Grimlock? It makes no sense, right? But these are pretty much... Wow. Some random telemarketer called me while this filming this, and then I have to actually now edit this together. Uh, so I put my phone in airplane mode so this doesn't happen again. If you ever film on your iPhone, make sure to put your phone on air, uh, air, uh, airplane mode or, uh, yeah, it, it, wow. Anyway, but yeah, I I'm, I'm, can't believe we haven't got any more Masterpiece Dinobots figures or new Masterpiece Grimlock, so yeah. So these first three shelves are all G1. These are a mixture of Masterpiece. Um, some third party stuff, but mostly classics, generations, um, figurized. In fact, this, uh, Cliff Jumper, which I have right here, which was using the Cliff Jumper from Transformers Prime. Um, I actually, from Big Bad Toy Store, my pal Lou, I have the Earthrise Cliff Jumper. So I'll be selling this one and replacing that. So, but yeah, you can see, um, and, and this goes to what I was trying to say in the beginning. I really had to condense my collection. And I want to ask you guys, one thing you can notice, a lot of these, some of these figures are even stacked on top of each other. And I don't like to do that, but I know a lot of these figures are durable and they'll be okay. Um, but yeah, it's one of those things that's hard because some people, um, they either, either have a lot of space and a lot of money and can display everything so nicely and see things. But for a lot of us, especially when you have a big collection, you have to downgrade your space it's really hard to like uh do you like get rid of a bunch of stuff which i did or do you just like kind of have to get rid of a bunch of stuff and just keep your very like with transformers i mean some of the stuff i could sell like i like i mean some of these characters i love a lot most of the g1 characters but i didn't have to like keep a lot of them but that's the thing. A lot of, if you notice with He-Man and Transformers, G.I. Joe, um, yeah, like a lot of those shows just constantly introducing characters just to sell toys and they had like one or two episodes or maybe a few episodes and then you never see them again. And yeah, and then, yeah, you just have so many characters whereas feature shows just stick to a core group and then, yeah, so. Like even my more empowering just besides the Monster of the Week, you would collect the, just the Power Rangers and they're, it's just a lot easier and then the main villains, you know? Um, but yeah, so you can see a lot of this first shelf, I mean, I guess you count the top shelf, is just a lot of the classics and even like with Galvatron and Cyclonus and his Armada and the uh, sweeps and, you know, we got Skylinks. I can't wait to get the new Earthrise Skylinks. That'll be even bigger and hopefully you can fit in there. If not, I'll put them next to Unicron. And yeah, warp, warp half, and all these, uh, and then this is the main Autobot ones. I mean, these, um, I don't know, just like more of the Autobots, but and, and some Decepticons on this side. But yeah, these are like more of my favorite ones. I do want to get that new Masterpiece Optimus Prime. It's so freaking expensive. If Hasbro can do one that's like even a hundred dollars cheaper, I'll, I would get it. I don't need the trailer. I mean, the trailer for my Optimus Prime is just an accessory you spin, but yeah. You can see most of these are Masterpiece figures. Um, and then the third party, uh, Perceptor. I did have the third party Fans Toys, uh, Hound, but I plan, I want to get the Masterpiece Hound and like some other Masterpiece figures like Sunstreaker and Masterpiece, um, Inferno and Grapple, uh, which I got the, uh, Classics Voyager one, but, yeah, it's just hard. Like, you know, it's one of those things that when you collect so many different lines, you try to prioritize which one you want first. And when you got like, 
you got, I mean, with Helen, I did sell off the character, so I do want to get the Masterpiece Helen, so, like, that'll definitely be, that's higher on my list to get it, but, you know, I got a mixture, like, I don't know if we'll ever get a Masterpiece Jazz, so this Jazz I still love, and then, you know, Mirage, and I, I guess I could get the, I think they'll do Earthrise one, I go, you know, they got the, um, uh, the Siege one, so yeah, and then Masterpiece, uh, RC, I'll probably get her, and then, yeah. But yeah, like, and you can see I got, uh, Skyfire, or, or Jetfire, if you want to call them, and Ultra Magnus, and Superion, and Defensor, and all that, so yeah. So yeah, really happy with my G1, like, my Classics Masterpiece, uh, like, Autobots. Now, the Decepticons a little easier. Uh, pretty much with the Decepticons, they're all Masterpiece or third party, like the Astro Train. I might get the Hasbro Earthrise Astro Train, but I really like this one and I just don't like transforming it. It looks great as an action figure. Uh, like it looks just like Astro Train. I just don't like transforming it. I love the Megatron. Megatron Optimus are so great. I know. I'm like, yeah, and then I, I, I have two Devastators in my display. I have the Hasbro one, which, which I love, but it can't fit in here unless I just take up, yeah, there was no way to really, like, display him without, like, like, pretty much decimating, like, like, all these other figures, you know what I mean? So, I, I just put him, like, um, with the Transformers, I'll get to, but I have all the giant city formers or combiners over there. But, yeah, pretty much, um... I have all the masterpieces like Shockwave, Starscream, uh, Thundercracker, Skywarp. I got uh, Menasaur and Bruticus uh, from the Finer Wars. And then the, th the TFC Toys. Um, God, I forgot what his name was, but, you know, the Devastator. And then, yeah, the Triple Changers all over there and Six Shot. Now, I do have actually a masterpiece Ramjet. I was planning to get Dirge and... Um, Oh my god, I'm having a brain fart, but, uh, yeah, like, uh, Ramjet, yeah, I was planning to get, oh wait, no, I got Ramjet, uh, Dirge and Thrust, there we go, um, but, I don't know, just, like, they, the Seekers all take up so much space, and I really like the, the mold of the original Deluxe Seeker, so, for the cone is, I don't know, I might just keep them like that, and just sell Ramjet, and, yeah, I'm, I'm just happy having the Seekers as Masterpiece molds, and yeah, it's my collection, I can decide I do. It, it's always the hardest thing, right, with, especially with Hasbro pumping out so much, um, so much, like, uh, G1 characters, like, in so many different molds, it's pretty much everything in your price range, you can get, like, a $10, $20 version, or you can get a hundred something, you know, 200 something version, you know, so, yeah, but I'm happy just having them, even though they're very, you know, twice, half the size of the Masterpiece mold, you know, it's fine, it's just, imagine they're, like, far away, and then I got the little cassette bots, like, you know, Laserbeak, and, uh, Ravage, and Rumble, and Frenzy, so, yeah. Now, moving on to Beast Wars. Now, Beast Wars, besides Black Arachnid, which I'm planning to get too, this is all the original Beast Wars figures or Masterpiece. So these are all the 90s figure. Oh, and then the, 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 um, Generations, uh, classics, whatever you want to call them, uh, Rhinox and, and, um, Rat Trap. But yeah, all these are pretty much all the 90s figures. And some of them are like, I got all versions of Megatron and Optimus, like Optimal Optimus and, the Transmetals versions, they're just like behind them, and then, oh yeah, and then uh, Wasp and HR. Um, but yeah, I got Masterpiece, Megatron, and Dinobot, which I love so much, and Optimus Primal, and Cheetor, uh, I'll definitely get uh, Tigatron, uh, but yeah, I got Silver Bullet, but Black Rackdown will probably be right there next to the Silver Bullet, you know, because I love this, but I love Beast Wars so much, I was, I had to stack them over because like, the next two sections are Transformers Anime and Transformers Prime slash some movie stuff. And Beast Wars has, like, besides the variants of Cheetor, Ramp, like Optimus, Primal, and Megatron, you know, most the key characters, I could fit them all in there. I just had to kind of stack them and 
yeah, it's not the ideal thing, but it all keeps it coherent, unlike G1, which had a billion characters. So yeah, it, it was a lot easier with, with Beast Wars and they look awesome. Then Transformers Prime. This one was a little harder. In fact, I got some Transformers Prime figures like, um, what is it called? Uh, man, I, I can't even think his name right there, but some, some Transformers Prime uh, characters are down there, but most of them are here. Like I, it's just it gets a little dark on the hair, and that that, like I said, ideally you could see everything and be well lit. And but yeah, it, it can be a little dark right there. Like Megatron's back there, Bulkhead, Ultra Magnus, Shockwave, Starscream, Blitzwing. But yeah, this is you know Autobots and Decepticon, Decepticons. But I definitely uh, I saw. Some of the variants I decided to get rid of because they just take up too much space, like Cybertronian Ratchet and um, Optimus Prime and whatnot. So, yeah, those are actually going to be in my cell video. You'll see that coming soon. Now, uh, this is Transformers Prime, uh, a lot of the first edition versions um, you can see here. The only movie figures I have, which I'll get, I really got rid of most of my movie figures, so I have some for sale, which you'll see here, but I kept my Optimus Primes. Like the, whatever, the one in uh, Dark of the Moon when he, he had the wings and then the Buster Optimus Prime and Megatron. And that's it. I don't like the Bayformers. I, I, after Bumblebee came out, I decided, I realized how much I hated those designs, especially like Starscream and like so many of those designs. Like they were cool for the time, but with Bumblebee and so many versions of Transformers, like, I don't need to have every version of the Transformers. Like, I don't have any of the Unicron Trilogy figures. I don't, um, yeah. Like, I, I just want to keep it, like, G1 Beast Wars. I got Anime and Prime. Um, and then the Bumblebee movie stuff. And and then if they keep those Bumblebee movie designs going forward, like, they're very G1 inspired, yes. But, yeah. And, yeah, so a lot of Transformers Prime since uh, Bumblebee or... I forgot what the Transformers Prime Rising, but yeah. Then there's Iron, uh, there's Tony, my Ibanez guitar. So yeah, that's my Transformers show. Oh god, this is gonna be a long video. So on the top right here, I got some DC figures. My, my sign, Batman Arkham City, Batman Woman, Kevin Woman 2 pack, which signed by Kevin Conroy and Gray Delisle, or Gray Griffin as she's now called. Voices of Batman, Kevin Woman, my Mad Love 2 pack, which only Joker and Harley figures in their classic designs I really have, but I love them. I got my Killing Joke statue from Kodipakia. I got my Weird Al action figure because I love Weird Al. I want to open it up, but man, I just love that box so much. Now, I got well, Marvel Legends. I only have Spider-Man and X-Men, so it's really like this is like my top Spider-Verse shelf, so it's all Spider-Man variants and uh, Spider-Man's like like allies and you know we got everyone from you know Scarlet Spider which is one of my favorites Ben Riley Spider Punk I love and I I got Spider Ham and Spider from um or uh, yeah from Into the Spider Verse I don't have the Build a Figure one there's so many variants I need to get like Spider-Man UK and uh yeah just like it. it all those figures came out during a time when I was really like hurting for money and I, a lot of Marvel, I at one point thought about getting rid of all my Marvel Legends at one point. So I got rid of everything that was like Avenger base or yeah, so many. I I, I kept Spider-Man because Spider-Man and X-Men when Marvel Legends were my favorite because, you know, they have, I love the Spider-Man's Rogues Gallery and X-Men Rogues Gallery. So yeah, luckily I, I kept them. And hopefully, slowly but surely, I'll get the ones I missed. Like, hopefully they do redo Silk, because I really said I missed her. And, yeah, but yeah, you can see, like, oh, who's that? It's a Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Now, I have Big Time Spider-Man over there. But I actually only keeping this figure because Shardimus Prime. They knew Shardimus. I have a love for this figure because of you, man. So I thought about getting rid of him and selling him since I have the new big time Spider-Man, but something about him, it just feels like I have part of Star Miss in there, even though big time awesome Spider-Man or badass Spider-Man, I have him too. So I need to get the Marvel Legends cloak and dagger because I have the diamond or Marvel select ones, but yeah. 
But yeah, there's my Spider-Verse in there. All the different Spider-Man variants. And then I got my Spider-Man Rogues Gallery. Um, most, I mean, most of these are the newer Hasbro ones. Some are Toy Biz. Some, like, especially with the villains. Uh, and I missed out on the Marvel Legends Hasbro, Hobgoblin, and Green Goblin, and Doc Ock I need to get still, and Sandman build a figure. I'm really so sad I missed out on so many of them, and they go for so much. And I like the Lizard build a figure wave. I only have like the t like a couple of pieces from like Spider Punk, and I forgot which one, but yeah. But and I need to get the new Kingpin wave, and yeah, and I. Yeah, just so many, um, m most of these are Hasbro, but a lot of them are the Toy Biz ones. But yeah, I got all the Spider-Man ones. I got, uh, then it moves into X-Men. Uh, X-Men villains, it's a little hard because I'm kind of sharing space with Spider-Man. It kind of transitions from Spider-Man to X-Men. So I got, like, all the big ones like Apocalypse, Magneto, Mystique, Sabretooth, uh, Juggernaut. Mr. Sinister, I got the Pyro. I sold my blob. I sold a bunch of my Toy Biz Marvel Leg Marvel Legends X Men ones, like Apocalypse and Blob. And I definitely want to get Blob in there, and I definitely want to get um, all the ones like missed out, like Avalanche or like I sold all of that. But definitely want to get bigger X Men villains in there too. But speak of X Men villains, I'm very lucky to have. Five Sentinels, two of the Toy Biz ones, two of the um, the regular Hasbro release, and the San Diego Comic Con one. It's a very lucky. I love this display. Uh, this is like one of my favorites of my Marvel stuff. This just looks so cool. Most of these X Men ones are the Hasbro ones with some Toy Biz mix in there. Let's see, we got like X X uh, Factor and. I put uh, Dazzler's little effects on Jubilee, it just made more sense. And then, um, yeah, most of these are the Hasbro ones. I really love how uh, Storm, I want to put more uh, flight stands, but I had put Storm on there. She just looks so badass, and Iceman's back there looking cool. Uh, I want to get the Hasbro, uh, um, Oh my god, uh, like Bishop, sorry. It's just, uh, when you're going through so many characters, I'm like, uh, I haven't a brain fart, but I want to get the Hasbro, Bishop, um, and X-23, uh, and Domino, uh, yeah, and the, the better cable, that's like the more common cable, I want to get like the 90s cable, and Cannibal, and yeah, and then, um, yeah, like, yeah, but I'm just so happy with this one. It's like, yeah, X Men. <laughs> I just love it. So now we go into DC. Now with Batman, um, it's a little hard. I had a DC Universe Classics of all these characters at one point, but I decided I'm a big fan of the Batman Arkham games, and I love the designs, and I really love the figures. So I decided to with batman just to keep my uh batman arkham uh, figures so i got all the villains even like you know, someone grundy killer croc um the giant joker for what you call it. i got uh firefly over there uh um and man bad looking just uh it's, it's freaky as hell uh bane and Clayface. you can see all the variants I actually have uh, variants of Batman, which I put over there for the time being. But I have all the variants of Harley Quinn because I love all her different outfits. I have some, like um, Red Hood and then Arkham Knight over there. And then uh, two Catwomans just because I like the little different looks. And then uh, with Nightwing. So I have some variants in there, but it's mostly um, one of each figure um, just because of the space and whatnot. But I love the Batman Arkham uh, designs, and I love the figures. Next up, I love, love the death and return of Superman storyline. So these are some of the only few... I actually have a bunch of still DC Universe classic figures for sale, which you'll see here, like uh, Lobo and uh, Swamp Thing and my Legion Doom characters. But I kept 
the Return of Superman or Death of Superman, like I got the Doomsday and I got Mattel and Darkseid, Lex Super, Power Girl, because why not? <laughs> and then I got uh, super, regular Superman, uh, Superman in his black suit, and then the Superman, you know, Cyborg, Superman, Superboy, Eradicator, and Steel. Um, and then I just love it. You know, the, I love that storyline. It's one of my favorite comic storylines of all time. And one of my other favorite comic storylines is Blackest Night. So I have all the uh, different uh, cores. You know, from the Green Lantern Corps, Blue Lantern Corps, uh, you know, uh, uh, the Star Sapphires, and Sinestro Corps, and Red Lanterns, and yeah, so I got them all. Uh, for the most part, there is one Blue Lantern, like, uh, Blood Air Wraith, I believe, um, messed out. There's a few random, like, especially with Green Lanterns, there's so many Green Lanterns. Like the newer characters, I haven't gotten any Green Lantern figures in so many years because after the Green Lantern movie, Green Lantern got a bad rap and no one wanted to get anything Green Lantern <laughs> for a while. But I love the Blackest Night storyline, so I had to have them in my collection. And you know, I got all the uh, Black Lanterns, so yeah. So that is the DC Marvel shelf. Now let's get into some 80s, 90s stuff. Ooh. So I have a whole bunch of Power Rangers uh, weapon replicas. I got Saba and the Dragon Dagger there, and I got Morphers. I actually got a signed Morpher from um, Austin St. John, uh, which I have a whole box of signed stuff, which I need to figure out. But I have my Jason David Frank um, signed Green Ranger um, SH figure art, so that's awesome. But... Um, now, the 80s, 90s stuff, we got Ninja Turtles. This is all NECA stuff. I love, um, well, I'll get to that in a second, but it's all my favorite versions of the Ninja Turtles. Mine is the 2012 figures. I want to get those uh, Revlotech ones, but I missed out on both the the reissue, the first release and reissue. So, but yeah, I want to display them sometime. I love to display different versions of the Ninja Turtles besides the NECA versions, but we'll see what the time will tell but i have the comic turtles uh thanks danny for selling me the original four uh four pack and then i got the shredder foot soldiers pack and i got april in there and then i got my movie uh figures i got like uh, splinters back there you can see here and, and the foot soldiers and i got shredder and the turtles then i got all the cartoon stuff bebop and rock city the turtles i have the sh figure arts Ninja Turtles, I love those figures, but I didn't, I was trying to decide which one's better, and since I have so much NECA stuff, I decided to keep them, because they are, they just go with everything, and even though I love the SH Figure Arts one, I'm just decided I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it, all the NECA stuff, so yeah, and then I'll, you know, put all, display more, like, I have more space for all the characters, I don't know if I'll get every character in the line, but I definitely will get April, Casey Jones, Splinter, um, Baxter Stockman and they'll all be like displayed there but if that line gets too and I'll put like Token Razar up there because they're way too big for this one but um I definitely if it gets bigger I'll, I'll make another uh, space for Ninja Turtles because I love Ninja Turtles but right now just keeping them the original 87 show the movie fears which only Casey Jones and this Raph in the Skies are only ones coming out from that and then the comic line is pretty much done. They're not going to do anything more. So I can always push those over a little bit and give space for all these. So now let's go, go Power Rangers. So Power Rangers gets two spaces because that's how much I love Power Rangers. So um, I, I, I guess I'll go first with the uh, this one because I I the middle shelf is always the more supportive one, so I put there. So I have the original 90s playset with Zordon and Alpha, and I decided it was a great, great display piece for my Power Rangers figures. So I got the SH Figure Arts in the original five with their weapons in the front. Green Ranger, of course, is in his box right now. I'm actually selling White Rangers because uh, I just wasn't a fan of how they did you know, like the, the P, uh, his shield piece. So I'm selling that one off in, in Armored Black Ranger, but I kept the original five and in Armored Red Ranger because I love that look. Um, but yeah, they just look so cool. And even though it, 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 
it was really hard with, with the lightning collection the reason i decided to get the lightning collection because i love the the end the alternative heads with them um, all the actors and i like that um you know they just you know they're really great figures especially for the price point all the weapons and effects and um but if the sh figure arts had either alternative heads and they were just a little bit bigger I wouldn't even think about getting the Lightning Collection, but because I love Power Rangers so much, and I'm just sticking mostly in my Morph and maybe Zio with, and Zio, which you'll see here, I decided, okay, I'll, I'll have two displays, the unhelmeted uh, versions, which you can see here of all the Rangers so far. Blue Ranger will definitely be next, and then hopefully they'll do a regular Black Ranger, which I'll probably get that one, and I, I don't know what I'll do with Armored Black Ranger, but I got White Ranger, and um the spirit with i forgot what they call it uh, of the green ranger the one where he was in the dream and then i got lord dragon which uh looks awesome but yeah i just think it's so cool how i did this what like it's funny how the middle shelves are in like like more like the displays i'm most happy with like even with dragon ball but yeah um we'll get to that one so yeah let's um yeah and then, then i got the legacy collection uh uh, Zords so like the Mega, the Dino Megazord, Titanus, and Dragon Zord. Uh, I just I want I, I like Dragon Zord how it is. Like the Ultra Zord was cool. I thought about doing that, but I figured it's saving space. I'll put Megazord on the uh, on, on Titanus because yeah, it just the Zords take up a lot of space, and I'm kind of like you know trying to show off the the Rangers as well as the Zords and my new Morphin three seasons three seasons of zord so and i i had tour at one point but i sold him he just takes up way too much space i never liked the thunder ultra zord it just was so stupid like i love the thunder megazord he looks just so awesome one of my favorites even more than the dino megazord but the the ultra zord was just so stupid and i got the tiger zord and then i got the ninja uh, Megazord and the Shokan Megazord and Ninjor and then yeah I got my Zeo collection so far just uh Zeo Blue and Gold Ranger but they'll definitely I hope to get all six Rangers soon I got Armored Red Ranger just because I love that look and I love that pose um giving love to the um 2017 movie because man that movie was so awesome and I'm just so sad that um that how how like you know that movie didn't get more love hopefully hasbro does figures of those because i love the designs but yeah these figures aren't the best but i just want to represent them and then of course i got my villains can't wait i have this rita figure from bandai from like 10 years ago but we don't get that many rita figures we get all these lord zed figures and one of the best lord zed figures but once we get that two pack with rita lord zed i'll replace both of them with with these but yeah i got goldar and the putty don't need a billion putties but want to represent the putty so yeah as power rangers then we got he-man now he-man i have so many figures that are just so hard to tell i feel bad like because the way that i had to display them i have a whole bunch of figures who just can't really see them but um yeah i have a whole bunch of characters i don't have every character i sold off so many of my masters universe classics I pretty much just kept my favorite characters and some characters I sold off like Stratos and um, Mechanic that I really wish I didn't. I love those characters, but I want to get the Filmation Stratos and hopefully I can get them and put them on there. Mechanic, if I did, you know, hopefully I can re get, uh, get them. And Battle Cat I sold off in Orko and I really wish I didn't, uh, but I was hurting for money and this, you know... I love He-Man, but I just had to, like, yeah, like, it was, it was a really hard decision in the last few years. Like, I, I love the 2000X uh, uh, series, so I have a bunch of those figures. So, I love the Filmation show, but the 2000X one is my favorite. So, I kept, so it's kind of like a mixture of both in this display. But, but hopefully, um, I get more money, I can re-get the figures I sold off and get the filmation style figures like stratos and and whatnot and then i got shira represented here 
and I got the Standor. Oh, rest in peace, Stanley. I also got a signed Marvel Legends Stanley, which I want to put on display soon. But yeah, I got Shiva represented. Then I got my He-Man movie figures or Master Universe movie figures. Love these figures so much. I have to represent that movie. That movie, even though it's not the best, I have a love for that movie and I love those designs. But yeah, so He-Man gets some love. And then Thundercats. I can't wait. I have on pre-order all three waves of the Thundercats Ultimates figures from Super 7. Like, I actually collected the um, Mattel's Thundercats classics, which are what the Thundercats Ultimates will be. But then they never sent me out Lino. I only had Jackal Man and Panthro. And I had the Wild Kid, Wild Cat, which I need to rebuy that. I don't know why. So I was so mad because I, and before Super 7 announced they were going to redo the line, I was just like, damn it. Poor Thundercats get shafted, like, like you can see, we only got that 8-inch Lino and Tigra, and then we got that 6-inch uh, uh, Lino and Mumra, and they were, eh. But yeah, I have a bunch of the Thundercats 80s figures, so some of the only vintage stuff in my collection. And uh, as the Thundercats Ultimates come in, I'll get rid of the classics versions, I mean, the vintage ver versions and sell off those. And... So this will definitely be changing in the, within the next year be, when those Thundercats Ultimates figures come out. So, but a lot of vintage figures and then and I got, uh, I forgot who made this one. It's a little statue figure, but um, God, when you collect so much stuff, you forget who makes them. But yeah, I love this Mamara Stashion figure. And then the, I, the 2011 Thundercats, I love it. Just like the 2000X He-Man, it's like a better... In every way, the action, the storytelling, the designs, I love it. Bandai did okay with the figures, but I still had to have them represented. And they're actually not bad figures. I really like them. It just could be a lot better, but got to represent that series, man. I love it. And then Ghostbusters. Now, Ghostbusters, is you know, they're Hasbro's releasing their figures, but I still have the Mattel Original 4. I had a bunch of like the other characters like Lewis and... Um, Vigo and Dana Azul, but I don't know, I, I, with Ghostbusters, I just kept it to the original four, but I'll probably get all the new Hasbro ones, because I do want to get the characters. I, I have them all, I bought extra, uh, Peters just to get all these streams. So, I know the new one, the Winston, only has a stream, which kind of sucks, I wish they didn't do that, but yeah, I'll see what I'm going to decide. I'll probably get the Hasbro one and get rid of the Mattel ones here. Um, just to keep them all concise, but yeah. And then I have the Mattel Hot Wheels Elite, uh, Ecto-1. It's definitely not in scale, but it's a nice display piece. And then I got my signed Ernie Hudson, uh, my Ghostbusters pack with the Slimer. And then this empty space being, my, oh yeah, I got my little, uh, only thing represented uh, Gremlins is Gizmo and then E.T., but then uh, I'm going to have all the G.I. Joe, uh, classified figures, like, wave one will definitely be going here, and then depending on how long the line goes, I'll put more figures, but, you know, I definitely want at least my main, you know, Joes and main Cobra over here, so they'll definitely be going over here. So, yeah, that's the 80s and 90s show. Oh, boy, we're, it's going to be a really long video. And then up here is Voltron! I got the Masterpiece 30th Anniversary Voltron. I got the, uh, that little, um... Can I press this without knocking things over? I don't even know where the button is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this, I only got it just for this, the Peter Cullen. I love this thing. <laughs> so awesome. I love it. So Voltron, I actually have the Mattel Voltron, the giant one with all the characters. I'm actually going to be selling that. It's just way too big and I just don't need it in my collection. I have the Masterpiece one so I don't need the giant Voltron. And then I got the the Voltron from the Voltron um, Force, I mean no, um, Legendary Defender one. So I got that Voltron and the only three figures that they released, freaking Bandai man. Jeez. Or Playmates, I mean, sorry. <laughs> oh man, Game Mind Company. So we didn't get the full team. So upset about that. But 
I don't mind actually because I love the show, but that ending really, uh, I'm not a big fan of that finale. And then I got the Molar Skeletor 2 pack that was signed by Alan Offenheimer, the voice of Skeletor, so I love that. Now, Overwatch! <laughs> Dang it, Hasbro! You had to cancel Ultra. See, if they only did like Reaper in this actual, not the, uh, you know, like, I don't know. I love the Hasbro uh, Overwatch Ultimates. I'm just so sad. Like, they canceled after Wave 2. So sad. But I, I got, I love Overwatch. Still one of my favorite video games of all time. I still play it, like, pretty often. So I have a mixture of the Figma figures, as you can see. I still need to get, like, the Figma Mercy. I want to get the Figma Mercy and Zenyatta. And I, I might get, I have, like, the Hasbro uh, McCree and whatnot but yeah and then for all the characters that don't have an action figure from figma or hasbro i have the pops and yeah there's just so many characters and the pops take up so much space so but yeah like i have a nice overwatch display and uh i just oh yeah i want to get the figma diva too so that's definitely on my list but i love overwatch and i love all the characters and then rick and morty that's also lying. I, I want them to do one other, like, Wave 3 with, like, um, Jerry and, and Beth and, I don't know, just, like, at least have the whole family and I'd be happy. I got Pickle Rick! So, yeah. Love Rick and Morty. The figure's actually pretty cool. I just like representing Rick and Morty. And then, this is My Hero Academia. Go Beyond Plus Ultra! So, besides the Figma, Deku, all these are... The McFarlane figures. Um, I do have the Bakugo, which I'm selling with with the the uh, McFarlane Deku. So once I I have the Figma, uh, I'm planning to get the Figma Bakugo and then Toroki and uh, Uraka and all them. So this will be mostly Figma, but I have the McFarlane figures as stand-ins right now. But and then I got you know Sue and uh, Tenya and uh, um, like uh, Racerhood. So yeah, like, um, yeah, I, I love my Hero Academia so much, so definitely had to represent them. And then One Punch! So got the McFarlane One Punch Man. I definitely want to get the Figma one, or was it Figma that did it? Yeah, I think I, I missed out on that one, but I definitely would rather get that one. I just, McFarlane one's okay, but yeah, just, yeah. And then I got the SH, or I forgot what they call but it's Servo from Superhuman Samurai. Love it. Technically, it should go with my Power Rangers more, but just, you know, because it's kind of like anime, I'll put it in this show. And of course, she's the one named Sailor Moon. I got the five Sailor Scouts, you know, Sailor Mars, Mercury, Venus, and Jupiter, uh, with Sailor Moon and Luna and Artemis, and Tuxedo Mask. Definitely want to get the other Sailor Scouts, but just country on the original five and Tuxedo Mask for now. But I love them. And then got my Dragon Ball collection. I have actually a whole, um, I am selling just a cup, a bunch of Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Stars figures because I had a whole bunch of different variants. And when I was putting together this display, I just realized I'm just going to, you know, I'll have a couple of variants as you'll see here, but I'm pretty much just going to, you know, Goku and Vegeta have so many variants, so, um, I kept on the very front, like, I have the, uh, uh, um, Born on Earth or Hero on Earth Goku, which, you know, doing the Kamehameha wave or Kamehameha wave, um, actually my buddy Daredevil19 is hooking me up with a, um, Super Saiyan Blue, um, Goku, which I'll put in there, and then I'll still keep this one, I'll put him, like, with his bow staff, and, you know, saying hi and be all goofy. Because I definitely want to display him doing the Kamehameha wave. But yeah, I got Shenron and I got the Z Fighters. Um, you know, I, I put the androids in the corner right there because they all are good now um, or destroyed. And then I got Bulma. Um, I originally was collecting the Dragon Ball fig SH figures, but I decided to sell them except for like Masharoshi and Bulma. I just, I like Dragon Ball, but I'm more of a Z and Super fan, so as you can see in the display. But yeah, I got uh, Super Saiyan Goku, like the, um, 
the Val Damage one and the Val Damage uh, Gohan. I have three versions of Gohan, Ultimate Gohan, and it's a great city, man, because I love Gohan. He's my favorite. I have, I love that Trunks figure so much. Super, Dragon Ball Super Trunks is, is uh, my favorite. I, I just love him so much. And then I have the Dragon Stars Build-A-Figure Zamasu, but um, I definitely want to get the um, SH Figure Arts one. I got Beerus, and uh, uh, Beerus is eating, like, uh, and Whis are just, like, so happy for food. I love them so much. And then got a bunch of villains, like Goku Black, uh, uh, Perfect Cell, v um, Frieza, and put Vegeta in here when he was a villain, like, it's over 9,000! I definitely want to get the big yards, um, Jiren, and then, yeah, even though Hit's technically a good guy, I, I put him over there, because, yeah just the safe space but yeah and i got uh, original broly and dragon ball super broly and both his forms so broly gets uh one of the few villains to get i have golden frieza from the dragon stars but i just prefer white frieza golden frieza not a big fan of but yeah so yeah there's my dragon ball ones and then we got the disney slash star wars shelf now star wars has a whole bunch of um like uh, I got the Hot Toys one, but, uh, representing the Mandalorian and, um, Rebels, I, I need to get Hera, she's the one, and, and then whenever they do, uh, Zeke, but, um, yeah, or Zeb, I mean, um, but yeah, I, I definitely got to represent Rebels, I love that show, I do got the Grievous and Balodroid, and I got, um, Poe and Rose, and, um, a Snoke, and his guards, but and then I got the bounty hunters back, like Boba Fett, uh, Bosk, and IG88. I want to get Dengar and Zekis and all of them, but yeah, but yeah, representing Star Wars Black Series, just keeping them more for like you know, Mandalorian, Rebels, and some Star Wars characters that, yeah, like not much I would get, like just Hera and Zeb whenever they cut there, and then yeah, and then I got the Disney princesses. I, I love Disney and I love all their outfits from wreck -It ralph so wanted a, a ralph breaks the internet so i love ralph breaks the internet i got all the different princesses representing them they're actually really nice figures i'm really happy with the set and then i got bender in there because he just wants to buy this shiny metal ass and wally there so i actually have the big hero six figures i gotta find where i put them but they probably would go right here too and then we got the video game uh shelf um now, this is a mixture of uh, Mortal Kombat. I got the uh, McFarlane ones uh, back there, which I'm trying to decide if I want to keep or not. I definitely love to get the, oh wow, Baraka is like, yeah, he's like tipping over a little bit. But I have the Mortal Kombat 9 or reboot, whatever, um, uh, Jazz Wears figures. They're actually not bad. They just, you know, they, look, they were pretty good for the time. And then I got the, uh, um, Storm Collectibles, Goro, and Shao Kahn. I love to get all the Storm Collectibles figures, but, you know, priorities. I love Mortal Kombat. Um, but, yeah, I just, yeah, I definitely probably get, and if, it's hard because the scale is kind of all over the place between all the different lines, like the McFarlane ones, the Jazz Wears, and Storm Collectibles. But, yeah, definitely love Mortal Kombat, and ideally, I love it all be Storm Collectibles. That's what I would want it to be. Then jackpot. I love, love the 1000 toys, Dante, but I plan, especially when I get a Detoff, to do get the 1-6 scale Asmus toys, Devil May Cry 3 and 5 figures, because I just love Devil May Cry. It's one of my favorites. So, And I got the NECA Dante from Devil May Cry 1, the Play Arts um, Kai Dante and Virgil from Devil May Cry 3, and then I got all these other video game properties I love, like the NECA uh, Kratos from God of War, uh, oh yeah, Bayonetta, I play Art Sky, Doom Guy or Doom Slayer, Marcus Phoenix, Storm Collectibles, Laura Croft, play Art Sky, and then the NECA one, um, uh, oh my god, I feel like from, from uh, <laughs> uh, Portal 2, um, and then this Hellboy figure that uh, Century Productions gave me, so thank you Century Productions for that. So yeah, who boy. Yeah, so a lot of the video game stuff. Probably would add more. I had like a bunch of Bioshock figures and whatnot, but sold them sadly. But I love Bioshock too, so 
and then the game over man game over the one of the coolest diorama type displays i have i love aliens um i love what NECA did with them i got the alien queen ripley with the power loader i got the xenomorph being shot at i got a whole bunch of eggs i got bishop over there you know all torn apart i got uh opone and uh or uh i mean vasquez and uh yeah i got um hicks and hudson and uh newt and then i got representing the first alien movie you know dallas and kane and them um but yeah i love this display love nick and since hot toys will never do the power loader again and then alien queen it's just yeah this is good i might get a few more marines and xenomorphs but yeah just had to represent aliens Whew. so yeah let's get to hot toys so yeah I put up the Batmobile. The only Batmobile I have on display, I have like the 66 Batmobile and Batman Arkham Knight Batmobile and the uh, Justice League Batmobile, but I'm probably going to sell those because I don't know where I'll put them. But I definitely got to keep my favorite, the 89 uh, Michael Keaton, Tim Burton Batmobile. I love this. I wish I could own this in like a life-size one, but I just will do. I love this so much and yeah, just amazing. So, I started with Batman. I got um, the 89 Batman slash Batman Returns display. Got Batman pulling his cape over there as best as I can. Batman Returns, Batman, which I love that suit more. Um, Michael Keaton, Bruce Wayne, and Jack Nicholson, Joker. Love this. I got Superman, uh, Christopher Reeve's Superman, and all the um, characters from that era. Um, I do got the Brandon Roth super the hot toys one with him revealing the ass but just representing i got the evil superman even though not not the best uh from hot toys part to make him look that evil they just added slight stubble and the grays but yeah then i got the mattel 12 inch lex super and journal zod since hot toys never did them which was sad but they got Jorel, which marlon brando one of the only marlon brando figures i ever have but i love that christopher reeve superman just so awesome, man. So awesome. And then representing the 66 Batman show, Adam West Batman, Bird Ward Robin. Sadly, you won't get that Hot Toys Joker that was revealed, but I got all the Mattel figures just to represent because I love that show so much. One of my first introductions to Batman, even though that show had been off the air many years uh, for that point, but I still love the reruns. Then I got the Batman Arkham shelf. Definitely will get the Harley Quinn and Batgirl and I know Deathstro came out and then Arkham Knight but I just got uh the original Arkham City or Arkham Asylum Batman and Joker and then Arkham Knight Batman but hopefully they do Catwoman but I definitely want Harley to go with Joker and yeah looks awesome then I had to move all my different versions of the Christian Bell Batman oh man just like yeah, this is a very long video, guys. Thank you so much for watching or all this. Um, yeah, I got the, uh, yeah, like Batman Begins, uh, Batman and his little demon version. I just, you know, got Bruce Wayne or Christian Bell, Bruce Wayne, the DX02 yeah, or 01 Batman and 012 or 12 Batman. And then I got the um, armory right there in the background. Then I got all the Jokers, uh, the bank, version 2 Bank Robber Joker, DX02 uh, and o, uh, 11 Joker. I forget which the number is, but both versions of the DX. And then I got him and his police officer and made this with, with one of the extra heads, um, the nurse Joker. I actually got the Laughing Joker somewhere. I have it still in a box somewhere. I got to find where I do it. <laughs> um, and then all the different Batman villains and characters like Two-Face, Harvey Dent, Catwoman, Alfred, uh, Robin slash John Blake, Chris, Commissioner Gordon, Bane, like, and Scarecrow. I had to move them all in there. I don't ideally, you know, like I said, space is the issue. So I didn't want to get rid of any of these figures and they're all being represented. And yeah, like I said, it's for me, even if you can't see them the best, it's just, yeah. And then these are bunch of different supporting characters from DCEU, uh, like Jarrell and Zod 
and the Jared Lowe Joker, rest in peace, and Harley Quinn, don't plan to get the Birds of Prey one I like. Even though I wasn't a big fan of this look, I like it way more than the Birds of Prey looks. And then we got the Joker Batman and Deadshot there just to represent it. I would love to get the Hot Toys one, but yeah, just not a big priority right now. So, And then the Play Arts Kai Feora, because I love her. I wish Hot Toys made one, but you know, it's still the best Feora figure you can get. Then I got the Pure Arts Mass uh, T-800. I really appreciate that. And yeah, and then got the Bat Signal. I figure out where to put it because this is where I would put Thanos once I get him. Got my DCU Justice thing. So far, I still need to get Aquaman and Flash. But um, yeah, my, they're definitely on the list. Um, figures I want to get. But yeah, you got the Trinity right there. I definitely will probably replace that Wonder Woman with the newer uh Wonder Woman 84 one because I love that look and it's just more vibrant and whatnot and then uh Superman Batman rest in peace Ben Affleck Batman now I got representing Terminator 2 and Terminator 1 back there ideally I would probably if I had the space make I didn't want to get rid of any of these figures I already sold off uh my extra um Battle Damage TX-13, or, yeah, TX, I had two versions to display with the alternative look, and then two versions of the new R uh, Terminator, so, you know, didn't want to get rid of any, and then I got the T-1000, um, two different displays, and so, yeah, I just, it's all Terminator 2 representing here, and I just love all these figures, I can't get rid of any of them, and Terminator, you know, like, I'll be back, and we're back. And we got Terminator Salvation representing that. Even though, you know, looking back, yeah, this is definitely my third favorite Terminator movie. Like, like Terminator 2 is my favorite, then Terminator, then Terminator Salvation, and then probably Rise of Machines, and oh god, oh Terminator, it's it's had a crazy history. But I actually really love these figures. Some of the first um, Hot Toy figures, I've had these figures for like over a decade now. It's crazy. Yeah, a lot of these figures this year I've had for a long time. But yeah, I really love these figures. And then Robocop, I almost, almost sold off both of these. I'm glad I didn't because I love them. I love Robocop. I love Ed 209. And yeah, it's just these figures, they both talk to you and they're awesome. So poor Ed is cracking a little bit. But it's just something like everyone that owns this figure knows that it's gonna, you're going to deal with that a little bit. But they both look really great. Some big uh, Marvel figures. I got Iron Monger. I got um, uh, Ultron. <laughs> and then got Hulkbuster and Igor. I, I definitely love to just have ideally Hulkbuster and Hulk doing that fist bump. That's how originally I displayed them before I did the Avengers display with Hulk. But once I get Smart Hulk, Professor Hulk, whatever, I definitely love to display that. Hopefully I can figure out how while displaying all this stuff. But yeah. Then with Marvel, I got Iron Man. When I Iron Patriot comes out, I'm gonna definitely put um um like Iron uh War Machine in here. So I got both versions of Whiplash, the Mandarin, and the Mark Six representing uh because I had two ver uh, to the Mark VI in here. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to display. I love the Mark VI uh, armor. It's one of my favorites. And then different helmets. And I doing it. And I got Captain America in Red School and Agent Coulson. I technically could put Coulson up in there. But yeah, I just felt like Coulson's a big Captain America fan. And I want to put him in there. Probably uh, love to put like other villains here. But yeah, like Crossbones. But if they'll ever do crossbones, but yeah. And then this mixture of, yeah, I got Bruce Banner in there, and then I got Thor from the original Thor movie. Oh, his cape just fell off. Oh, man, whatever. And then I got Ella and Scourge there, and Loki looking awesome, and Odin. But yeah. Yeah, I love Thor, and love that first movie, and then, yeah. And then... Ghost Rider, and I got uh, Hugh Jackman, Wolverine from X Men, uh, uh, Days of Future Past, <laughs> and then I got Blade. Um, definitely, yeah, this is like Marvel movies that weren't 
part of the MCU. So love all three of these figures. Uh, and then we got Spider-Man. I definitely, this will be like definitely more characters for out uh, by God, my three favorites, the advanced suit, Scarlet Spider, and Spider-Punk. I love these figures so much. And I love all the accessories like the pizza and donut and comes in like Scarlet Spider doing selfie and Spider-Punk just looking so badass. Definitely will put like Iron Spider there and um, all the, you know, I want to put like uh, the uh, Negative Zone one and all the different versions that they're going to do. So yeah, definitely can't wait. Then this is the Spider-Man Homecoming uh, Far From Home section. Definitely Hot Toys Mysterio will be there and Hot Toys uh, uh, Night Monkey and all the other ones that will be here. So I got the Marvel Legends uh, little placeholders for now, but yeah, I just, yeah, you're representing the Tom Holland era Spider-Man. Then I got the Tobey Maguire era Spider-Man um, with the, you know, I got that Marvel Icons Venom just because they never did a Hot Toys Venom. I got both versions of Spider-Man. He's holding his mask or his head. <laughs> and then I got James Franco, I mean, <laughs> New Goblin. You know, I, I just, you know, love that Franco head school and Sandman. And then I got the Amazing Spider-Man and Lizard up there. Um, depending on how much with Spider-Man, I might combine these two just because it's just weird for Amazing Spider-Man. I had the Amazing Spider-Man 1 costume, uh, but I eh, wasn't a big fan of it. So I just kept Amazing Spider-Man. I love this figure too and Electro. So yeah, representing poor uh, Grant Andrew Garfield. By the way, show off. I got, oh yeah, Luke hanging on the scaffold. You no, know, it's impossible. And then they got the Combiner Wars Predaking back there. Combiner Wars, uh, Titans Return, whatever. Um, Devastator. I got Metroplex, Fort Max, Omega Supreme, and um, uh, a Triptychon. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's like, uh, I've been I've been going on for like an hour on this. This is crazy, man. I can't believe this is gonna be a long, long video. If you guys been watching all this, you guys are amazing. Uh, and then this is my Star Wars shelf. Got uh, New Hope uh, with Luke, Darth Vader, and Obi Wan fighting back there. Chewbacca, um, Han Solo, C three PO, R two D two, and Princess Leia. Rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. And then this is my Empire Strikes Back. This is technically the Return of Jedi uh, Sideshow one. And I got the Hot Toys Stormtroopers back there. And then the DX Luke. And then, yeah. I definitely want to get the Hot Toys Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader. If I can get it for a good price, definitely down the line. Because I definitely want to put that one here to face my Luke Skywalker. So I got the Hot Toys Luke Skywalker. Luke and Darth Vader are the only ones I would do for each movie. Because uh, I love Luke and Darth Vader so much. Got Boba Fett and got the Emperor. So yeah, that's my Return of the Jedi display. And then my Force of Weekends um, display. I don't know who else I would, unless they did Poe maybe, but I'm pretty happy with all the versions like Hot Toys Ray and Kylo Ren, Phasma, and I got a Stormtrooper and Finn, Luke Skywalker. Luke is the only one uh, from. The legacy cast I would get. Yeah, I, I love Carrie Fisher, but I don't want to get like um, the Hot Toys, older Leia, or Han Solo. I just want Luke and then, yeah. So I'm happy with hot, my Hot Toys Star Wars the way it is, pretty much. And then this one, the Hot Toys Optimus Prime with the Star Screamer wings. I got the Bumblebee, uh, Bumble, Bumblebee movie, Bumblebee, and Optimus Prime. I plan to get the 3 0. Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, and Blitzwing, and Soundwave, and they'll go in here whenever I have them pre-order. So Bumblebee's out and Blitzwing, but I want to get Optimus Prime first and Bumblebee and everything. So um, Then I got uh, my Predator show, Mixture of Predator 1 and 2. So I got the Jungle Predator, classic, uh, the City Predator, and I got Dutch. Um, and then... I got the Elder Predator, and then I got some Aliens from Aliens and Alien. So just kind of combine them. I had Predators, but I sold off those figures just because um, 
I don't know, just, I love Predator, but the first two mostly. Predators was cool for designs, but I, I just want to, you know, keep it very concise, you know, with Predator. So, yeah. And then I love Michael Jackson. I got, I also got the SH Figure Arts Smooth Criminal Michael Jackson, which I'll put in here. And I got Groot dancing in there, but I got the Beat of Michael Jackson, Thriller Michael Jacksons, both Zombie and Regular, and then the Bad Michael Jackson. So I love Michael Jackson. Rest in peace, Michael. And then I got Indiana Jones with the Sideshow um, Henry Jones, and then uh, the Hot Toys Indiana Jones, both with his map suit, and yeah. And then, you know. Yeah, so God represent Indiana Jones. So, yep, that I would say that's all my hot toys. Oh yeah, and then Bruce my bass, and then um, yeah, and then Natasha my acoustic, and then last but not least, Avengers Assemble, my hot toys Hall of Armor Iron Man and my Avengers. So, yeah, now let's start with Iron the Hall of Armor. So. I actually had more Iron Man armors, like I had some Comic-Con exclusives, I had the other variants of like, like I said, Gamma, and um, God, what was the other one, Striker, or I don't know, there's so many different ones, but I decided to get like my favorite ones or my favorite variants, if they were just a repaint of, of that, I I mean, I kind of did the repaint thing like with, with Midas and whatnot, and but I, I decided just to keep ones that were a little bit different enough and they just were my favorite. So yeah, I got Top here, Red Snapper, and Peacemaker, you know, Errol. and then the second here we got like, you know, a Heartbreaker and um, Minus, oh god, I forgot the name of, <laughs> some of these I forgot, I know like uh, Hot Rod, uh, I believe uh, Striker, and... Uh, See, I am totally forget some of the names. Like, I know, like, Silver Centurion, whatnot. But yeah, like, then we got Starboost, and, um, see, I totally forget. By the way, I got the Marvel Legends Rescue and Valkyrie to go with my Avengers display. They'll definitely, hopefully, we'll get Hot Toys versions, and, yeah, and then, then it goes into the Mark 42, and then, Mark 45. I have the Mark 43 right now inside the whole presser. So if I if I put the Mark 43 there, then yeah, because I plan to get actually take out Iron Patriot, put them in there, and put the Mark 47 there because I'm sad I missed out on the Mark 47. So I definitely want to get the Mark 47 and get Mark 46. And then I got the original seven. They're just back there. It's sad that freaking. 100 like 200 300 dollar hot toys figures are in the background but you know like i said it's for me and it's just a space issue I, ideally the avengers would have their own display they wouldn't be in front of the hall of armor but whatever and then we'll start from left to right all the different avengers daredevil the only mcu i mean only netflix marvel um character to be in the display um, rest in peace, Daredevil, Netflix Daredevil, I love that show. Got Doctor Strange, I love him. Deadpool, because he will be a part of the MCU soon. He's sniffing his guns. I got the Marvel Legends Nebula and um, Wasp in there. And then got uh, Rocket, Star-Lord, Gamora. Why is Gamora? Uh, Drax, Groot. Falcon and Winter Soldier. I definitely want to get the Infinity War Winter Soldier and then I'll put that Winter Soldier in the Captain America display. Iron Spider. I put Hawkeye and Black Widow from Civil War. Got Hulk in there. Captain America, which I'll definitely get the uh, Endgame Captain America with the with Mjolnir and the Broken Shield. I got uh, Mark 50 Iron Man, which I'll definitely We'll put him up here somewhere, and then we'll put the Mark 85 there. We got War Machine from Iron Man 2, the Diecast one. We got Thor from Major Ultron, Vision, Scarlet Witch, Captain Marvel, which I definitely put the Hot Toys one. Got Quicksilver just to represent him. Um, oh yeah, I got Maria Hill back there, Ant Man, Black Panther. I love, 
I the newer suit I like, but I still love that Civil War suit so much. Got Shuri, which is one of my favorite female figures. Oh yeah, Koye. Hopefully they do a Hot Toys version. Uh, Nick Fury, and then of course Stan the Manly. Rest in peace, Stan. Whew. And there you go, you guys. That is my collection. Wow. I did it, you guys. Wow. An over an hour video. So once again, thank you to Big Bad Toy Store for sponsoring this video. And there you go. So click the link in the description for really support the video, you guys. And thank you to my Patreon supporters if you want to help out the channel because I have a lot of few video ideas that I'm going to be starting next week. Um, so I'm really going to like really trying to do something new with the channel. I have a couple of great ideas that you guys might like. But um, yeah, like, but hopefully this video was well worth it. Hope you enjoyed watching it and it's all the detail of what I have. But yeah, and I'll do like updates uh, throughout the year of what like maybe any year update like periodically of my collection. And it won't be as long as this video. This was a Sean Long video. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to like the video, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification key to know about new videos. And like my Facebook, follow me, Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. I'm Sean Long, Mary Live Long, and love life.